New at 10 tonight, Candy Cane Lane is back for another year of holiday fun in West Dallas. It's free to attend, but all the donations go to kids fighting cancer. Stephanie Haynes shares this year's goal and why this event has been the gift that keeps on giving since 1984. Candy Cane Lane 2021 is already off to a good start and plenty of people are telling us the holiday season is about giving. Merry Christmas! Dozens of cars rolled down 95th Street in West Dallas on Friday night. They were filled with families eager to see the neighborhood lit up with holiday lights. A little distraction from everything but I, and our grandkids are from Louisiana. You see some of your favorite Christmas characters? Uh, yeah. the Yeti. <gasps> yeah? The That's dinosaur, cool. Yeah? The dragon. <gasps> and Santa. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. To see the absolute joy on the kids' faces. That's what says it all. Candy Cane Lane has been going on for decades. It benefits the MAC Fund, which helps fight childhood cancer. The holiday tradition has raised more than $3 million since 1985. Last year, it raised a record $200,000. Do you think you'll break that again this year? Not think we're going to. Let's let's just start it off with that. It was $207,000 last year in a matter of like 30 nights out here. Um, it's phenomenal. The amount of people, the traffic that came through was absolutely great. Oh, perfect. The Nagy family has made it a tradition to come see Candy Cane Lane since 2013. Their kids love it. Which one was your favorite house? Um, the one with the teddy bear popping out of the present. Saprit says it's really important that his kids learn to give back at a young age. How important it is to have a community and support it in a way so they learn it and eventually they will understand that this is more than lights. This runs every night through December 26 and you could start the route anywhere on Oklahoma, but the most important intersection here is 95th and Manitoba because that's where you can make your donation. In West Dallas, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.